Hey you guys, guess what time of day it is? It is not Dollar Tree time. Hello, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all the good things that go with it. I just decided I'm going to get on here because I haven't done a video in a while. I haven't done any, I've done some Dollar Tree shopping and things like that, but not enough to really make a haul. And then I needed it really quick for parties and it just didn't work out and blah, blah, blah. You know how it goes, it's just crazy kind of me right now, you know? Um... So, I'm sitting here going, you know what, I miss you guys so much, and I wish that, uh, I'm naughty today. Nice is on the back. I'm not nice today. Um, I gotta tell you, I gotta be honest with you guys, I've been in a funk. In a big, huge funk. Funkity funk, funk funk. Um, wasn't feeling this holiday, this, I had no holiday spirit at all. I had nothing. I had nothing in my tank. I got, I had nothing. Be honest with you, I'm still working on it. Now, I know everybody says, you know, you got Kylie Mae, yada, yada, yada. I get that. But when you are down, you're down, and it's just, just the way it is. And I don't want this to be about, about, all about me. Um, because it is. No. <laughs> um, it's just been a very rough year for me, physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, for sure. Um, kind of lost my way. I've lost my way for a long, long time, and I don't like it because I lost me, and I don't like that even more, and I kind of neglected my channel, which I don't like to call it a channel. I like to call my friends and family. Um, I've neglected my friends. I've neglected responsibilities that I should be taking care of, and it's just I got into a funk, and I couldn't get myself out of it. And I don't even really know why. I don't know why. I battle depression. I have bad, bad depression. And it sucks. I'm medicated. You all know this. Hallelujah. Um, and, you know, it just because you're on a medication doesn't mean it's going to work all the time. Life throws you curveballs, and the thing of it is, is I don't want to sound like I'm not grateful, because let me tell you what, I am grateful, and I need to be more grateful, because I do have it good. Many people don't have it as good as the rest of us have it, and we need to remember that. I.e., me. Um, again, I didn't want this to be a sob story, I don't want this to be about that, you know, I mean, you guys know me. I love you guys to pieces, you guys... You haven't, really don't have any idea how much you mean to me. You mean a lot. Now, I'm going to tell you something. You guys have sent some beautiful Christmas cards, packages, things like that. I am going to have a video for this, those things, and I apologize if it's been a while. Again, in a funk. I'm not going to lie. And don't think for a second I don't appreciate it, because I do. Um, I don't want to... It's not pretty sad. It's pretty wonderful that you get more Christmas cards from the YouTube community than you do your own, I don't like to say real, but in this time, in my world, in my life, I've gotten one card, and the rest of them all came from you guys. I mean, that just blows me away. I said this a while ago, people don't send Christmas cards like they used to. Not even me. I used to send out a ton. I would start in November, and I would get them out, and... I would send out Christmas letters, and I love Christmas. I don't know about you guys. Anybody like Christmas letters? Because I love Christmas letters. People think they're stupid. I think they're great. If you don't see Johnny, Susie, or Lori, or, or whoever, but you want to know what's going on with them, they write a Christmas letter, you're caught up to speed for a year. It's really nice to know about what's going on with, you know, cousin Susan's, Aunt Edna's, whatever. You know? Some people don't appreciate that. I do. So, anyways, I used to do all that stuff. I haven't baked one thing. Not one thing. Nothing. But, okay. Sometimes it just doesn't happen. But I want you guys to know how much I love you, I adore you, and I appreciate each and every one of you. I mean, honest to God. Honest to God. <sighs> you guys are awesome. So, I thought it would be fun to do this, um, I kind of thought, I just want to come in here and yibber-yabber about my life, my life, my life, my life, when I do have it good. I would do a 15-question tag, and I thought it'd be kind of fun just to do it. And then I'll, I don't know if I'm going to tag anybody. I'll probably just tag whoever wants to do this, 
this thing, you know? Because, like, a Christmas letter, a tag is fun. You get to find out about people. So, with that being said, hold on one second. I have to do a little maneuvering here. All right, now you guys can't see that, right? Now you can't see that because i got something right here that's going to show tell me what I need to do. Okay, so, this is a Tis the Season Christmas Tag. 15 Tag Question Challenge. So, we're going to start off with, what is your favorite Christmas scent? Anything cinnamon. Um, I like a little pine, not a lot of pine, but pretty much anything cinnamon is, is nice. That's a nice scent for me. Uh, number two, favorite Christmas song. Hands down, without a doubt, is the one and only Bob Seger's Little Drummer Boy. Has to be Bob Seger singing it. Uh, there's many other ones that have done them, and they sound great. Bob Seger hmm, makes the hair on my arm stand straight up when I listen to him. So, Bob Seger. Little drum boy. Love him. Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, do you host any Christmas parties? I used to. And um, because we have a small place, my daughter-in-law, my beautiful daughter-in-law, Sarah, pretty much does all the parties out to their house because they have a huge place. So, Or my daughter in Bay City, she has another huge place. We go there. Um, on Christmas Day, I'm having a few people over, and we're going to do some crab legs and some shrimp and um, things like that. We're all going to kind of bring together a community of food and go from there. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, what type of tree do you put up? Artificial or real? I did real for many, many, many years until I got tired of the pine needles and said, No more. Although it smells great, I do have an artificial tree. Okay, favorite Christmas food. I like John Sausage Balls. It is a family favorite. It is just this yummy goodness. My sister Lana Cole makes them. I've made them before, too. They're delicious. Um, I just like the traditional stuff. You know, your ham, your turkey, your stuffing, your rolls. You know, all that stuff. Just a little bit of everything. You know, that's what I like. So, there you go. Um, let's see. When do you open Christmas presents? Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? Well, when I was a kid, my dad worked a second shift, and so when he would get home at 1.30 in the morning, we got to wake up and we got to open up a Christmas present, just one. <clears throat> and then we'd wake up in the morning and, and do the rest. As far as in today, um, we do it in the morning or, you know, whatever we decide to do. But that's usually what we do. Um, do you have a Christmas theme when decorating? No, I just got all my little mishmash of things, but I didn't put a lot out this year. We decorated a tree, and I got my one side table, and that's it. I didn't put my tree up in here, I didn't decorate. I was sitting there thinking, I mean, I should have decorated more, but eh, it's alright. It's just, it's okay. So no, I don't really have a theme. My daughter-in-law, I love her. She collects snowmen, and she has snowmen in just about every room in her house. So it's really kind of cool to see. And then my um, daughter in Bay City, she has a tree, like four of them, because <laughs> she had a big house, and she decorates according to that. It's really kind of pretty. Okay. Um, what is your, one of your favorite, or what is one of your Christmas traditions? <sighs> you know... I don't really have a tradition per se, other than uh, just being with family and friends and, 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 you know, that kind of, this year's kind of a wash. I can't really answer that question. I mean, a tradition, there's many traditions, but like we always just get together and, and, and do dinner and presents and things like that. So, you know, that's how that goes. <clears throat> um... When do you normally start shopping for Christmas? I know when I want to start shopping is January, but when do I really start shopping? In December. Um, what is your favorite Christmas movie? Home Alone. Love that movie. Christmas of the Cranks, another good movie. Um, it's a Wonderful Life. I actually just watched that for the first time about five years ago. That's a great movie. Um, 
let's see. Okay, four parents. Do you believe in Santa? What age will you tell them that Santa's not real? Oh, do your kids believe in Santa? Okay, my children believed in Santa until they didn't believe in Santa anymore. And I really can't tell you what the age that was. Um, I think that Santa is a great um, idea. Um, I sometimes think we got it all wrong. I think, you know, like we kind of lie to our kids. It's kind of crazy what we do. Um, but, you know, it, it is what it is. And it's been going on for many, 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 many moons. And um, Jesus is the reason for the season. That truly is what it is. Um, Santa Claus is not Jesus. It's just a magical, mystical thing that's out there. Kylie May will know who Santa Claus is until she doesn't. It's just the way it is. It's just an idea, a thought. Just like the Easter Bunny, Tooth Fairy, all of that. So, there you go. I believe that it's a spirit. Like, a magic. Get what I'm saying? Like, at this time of year, you just get this... You're supposed to, anyways. I didn't get it this year. I lost my Christmas spirit. That's okay! Alright. Um... <clears throat> What do you top on your tree? A star, an angel, or a bow? I have a star up there. What is your main dish for Christmas dinner? Um, we like the green beans and bacon with the butter. That is really, really good. We'll probably have that. Do you prefer multicolor lights or white lights? I like white lights. Mike likes multicolor lights. Um, so, yeah. I won this year, though. We have white lights. And last but not least, when do you when you decorate? Do you decorate your entire house or only certain areas? Only certain areas. I am not that person to decorate the entire house. Although it's very pretty, I think it's lovely. I don't knock anybody that does it. So there's that. That is the who, the what, the when, the how, and all this good stuff. Um, I'm just going to tag anybody that wants to do this because it's kind of fun. So I like to hear about things. You know what I'm saying? Just get out there and do some stuff. And whether you do a tag or you just chit-chat or whatever, you know, just do your thing. Um, but Mike and I are going to be back here for a very special edition for Christmas. It'll either be Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. And then I've got some changes going to go on with the channel. Nothing major. Don't have a panic tick. Not going anywhere. But I just want to get more of a schedule. And I want to... Um, I don't know what I was going to say. I had an idea and the thought just left the building. See what I mean? I'm losing it. Anyways, but I hope you guys have a nice Christmas, a nice holiday season, and you get each, everything that you want. Hope you get to relax and rest and, and, and all this stuff. Um, oh, on a side note, pray for my family. The flu bug, the stomach bug hit the house. So, um, yeah, can you pray for that? Because I really, really, really can't afford to miss Monday or Tuesday from work because I have to be there. I want my bonus. So, Merry Christmas. I love you guys. I want you to know that. And, um, like, comment, share, subscribe down below. Hit that bell in the corner if you want to be notified of any upcoming videos from me. Remember, snail mail. Everybody likes getting something good in the mail. This has a damn bill. I know I do. Do something good for yourself so that you can do something good for somebody else. And above all else, be good. Merry Christmas! Mwah! Love you guys.